beautiful and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this video where I am going to be ranking everything from my latest haul. It's going to be from fail to holy grail. I always come back one month later and I rank everything that I haul, just letting you know what I think about it from the least favorite item to the most favorite item. This is going to be the haul that I had in, usually it's about a month, a month after my haul and I will link the haul down below in case you're interested in hearing my thoughts and if they changed since I hauled them because a first impression is all fine and dandy but I like trying things out for about a month and coming back and letting you know about them there is so many things in this mm, I don't even know how many but you're about to find out and if you haven't been here before hello my name is Angie I'm a lover of fashion and makeup especially colorful things and if you want to see some more color on your timeline or if you just want to see some more makeup content on your timeline don't forget to subscribe because I upload five videos a week this video is also extra exciting because I have partnered up with HelloFresh once again and this video is sponsored by HelloFresh so thank you so much HelloFresh for sponsoring this video I am so thrilled to be working with HelloFresh. If you've been on my channel for a bit, if you've been on my Instagram for a bit, you know that I have been an avid HelloFresh consumer way before they started like working with me. Because I am, I, I mean, I use HelloFresh. I have a subscription for HelloFresh. When HelloFresh asked me where they could send my box, I was like, listen, I'm already paying for this service. I am Hey, I am a paying customer. I love HelloFresh. And we choose to do our meals for four persons, even though we're only two in my household. Well, I don't count the pets, but it's only me and my husband. But we like to do for four people because then we get to save the leftovers for the day after. We have saved so much money since we started with HelloFresh because first of all, we already have everything at home, so we don't end up doing takeout instead of actually buying food. And we also have the leftovers for lunch after, so we actually save money on lunch as well. We have the vegetarian option here in this household because we are trying to eat as much vegetarian meals as possible. And this was a filled mushroom and it was just so delicious. And that is the thing with HelloFresh, their meals are so delicious like it's restaurant quality meals that you cook at home and it's so easy when everything is just pre-measured and you can just chat while you're doing dinner and you don't have to be so concentrated on the recipe i love that a lot and since hellofresh just cuts out the stressful meal planning and prepping we can just enjoy cooking and eating dinner together and it takes so little time because from just starting to like think like oh i really want to have dinner from actually having dinner on the table it's usually 30 minutes and they do have some really quick recipes to choose from as well so sometimes we can have dinner done in 20 minutes and that's just amazing and that's not counting all the time we're saving by having all the meals delivered to our home and not having to go to the grocery store we only go to the grocery store once every two weeks now to just buy some things for breakfast and the hello first service is just so flexible you can add extra dinners or lunches to your weekly order, throw in extra portions, or add some yummy meal compliments like their best-selling garlic bread, for example. And it's so easy for you to change delivery days, food preferences, or just skip a week whenever you want. I just love the flexibility of this service. So go to HelloFresh.com and use code Anyashka14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. That is HelloFresh.com and use the code Anyashka14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. So thank you so much HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and also thank you so much for making, making my life so much easier. It's really improved our eating habits and saved us a lot of money. I'm gonna be honest with you. But now let's get into the ranking. And yes, I know the cactus need batteries, but I forgot to buy batteries yesterday. So he is gonna have to be literally in the dark for yet another day. Sorry about that. It is the way it is. I did film this look. I filmed it for Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I do post quite a lot of things on Instagram. I don't think I tried any like fails. Usually when I do these rankings, there are, there's always something that's like, eh, I didn't even like this. I hate, sometimes I even hate things. Listen, it's not always, but it happens. But I don't have anything here that I really hated. I just have a couple of things that I feel lukewarm about. I don't dislike them, but I don't see them becoming favorites in the future. I think the first thing I'm going to mention are actually these. I bought two of the liquid lipsticks from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I bought it in I'm a Cancer and in Gratitude. The reason why I'm putting them here is because I like this color. I think it holds up better on my lips, which is the I'm a Cancer than Gratitude does. I feel like Gratitude, it becomes a little thick on the lips and when you like rub your lips together eventually it will crumble off your lips i didn't have the same problem with i'm a cancer and that in itself is a problem like if the colors are inconsistent i don't i don't hate this formula but it's far from being a favorite 
I didn't really have any problems with it except this one did crumble a little bit over time we're talking like six hours in but it's still not a favorite uh, i don't see myself buying any more colors unless she comes out with something that's like extremely like special but yeah i don't see myself loving this another thing that i wasn't like i wasn't blown away and that is the ColourPop hyaluronic hydrating foundation i just thought that it looked a little and it could be me it listen this could be me, this could be me, maybe I'll change my mind with time. But I have used this a couple of times and I haven't been convinced. I thought it looked a little heavy on the skin and I just, it looked a little too foundation-y on my skin. I just prefer something that's lighter on the skin. Even if it's more coverage, I just prefer something that's lighter and more skin-like. The next thing I am going to mention is the Bare Minerals Blonzer. And I think the main reason why I'm mentioning this, this is called the Blonzer. This is marketed as a mix between a bronzer and a blush. That's why it's called Blonzer. The pan is ridiculously small and this is not an affordable product and it annoys me that they are marketing this as a, a bronzer blush hybrid and they are definitely having a pretty high price tag on this one and the pan is so small if the pan had been this big i would have been more like okay i just feel like this is a little bit ridiculous so at the end of the day it's just another blush it's just another blush and it's like why all this gimmick then for just another blush it works as a reddish bronzer bronzer thing it does work like that i'm just i think i'm just a little bit annoyed i feel like it's just a marketing thing i think that that's I think that's what I'm like a little bit annoyed with. The next thing I'm going to mention, and I, I'm i only putting this here because there are so many things that are better and I feel like this could have been done so much better. And that is the 5 pan palettes by Colourpop. I don't dislike these. I don't dislike these at all, but I definitely don't like them as much as some of the other things I'm going to talk about. And I think that's why these are here. I also, this blue one, this blue one is not created equal as the others. This is not as good. Not even the shimmers or the mattes are as good as the other palettes. This is the least good out of the uh, out of the ones. If I'm gonna be honest, I feel like um, I feel like the best ones. Well, to be fair, all of these are pretty good. Th this one though, this one has definitely no dimension or depth because these are very similar on the eyes and this is just very light. I think that this one probably is my, my favorite one because this one is a dark matte, a light matte and three like pretty different shimmers. I just feel like <sighs> they're generic. I've seen this and these two shimmery pinks are so similar and these two matte pinks, they're not that different on the eyes. I feel like the green one. The green one is my favorite. The green one has some, some like dimension. But these three, even though there's nothing wrong with the formula, they're all pretty one dimensional. I'm just, I feel like they're lazy. They're nothing special. I feel like the green one is the only one that's like, yes, that's a fun one. Definitely get that one. The other ones, there are so many other fun color combos out there. I just, I prefer the 9 pan palettes, if I'm gonna be honest. The only one I really like is the green. The green probably, if I just had bought the green, it would have been a bit higher, but I'm, I, there are too many things for me to be ranking them one by one, okay? You're gonna see that. Well, you've already seen the number here, maybe? Of like, what number I'm like ranking, it's already too many things. The next thing I'm gonna mention, and again, I like this. This is the Shiseido Minimalist Whipped Powder Blush. This is like a... This is a blush that is a mousse to powder. This dries down. It's like a moussey texture. It's really easy to use. It goes on beautifully. Let me see if I can even... I have some on the lid here. You see it is a beautiful like orangey color. This is in Momoko. This packaging, it's it's luxurious, but it's really annoying that, that the cream is like down in this pot. It is a little bit annoying. Uh, this color is beautiful. It goes on. It's very sheer, but it's buildable, which makes it It makes it a bit foolproof if I'm gonna be honest. It's a bit powdery So it's not really gonna lift your foundation. It's also sheer but buildable So it's really easy to work with but I'm gonna be honest with you Am I gonna reach for this one in this pretty annoying packaging that I have to build up for a person that really likes blush over any of my other orange blushes? 
probably not. And that's why it's a bit lower at the bottom. If this had been in a compact instead and not in this glass jar and it just had a little bit more pigment to it, I think it would have been higher up because it's very expensive. It's very expensive. Next I'm going to mention this one. This is the Nabla Skin Realist Tint. This is a lot of product. This is 48 millimeter millimeters? Yes. <laughs> milliliters. It's 1.6 fluid ounces. It's a lot of product. This is a light coverage, pretty matte tint and it holds up really good. It is not my favorite tint. I prefer, I have a full video ranking my skin tints and low coverage foundations in case you're interested in seeing that. I will link, um, I will link that video when I'm linking this product because I will link everything that I'm talking about with corresponding videos down below. I will link that video corresponding to this one so you can hear some more thoughts about this and how it compares to other things. Because I love like the Fenty Eavesdrop more than this because I feel like it has a similar feel on the skin. It has a similar, um, what can I say, like a similar finish on the skin, but the Eavesdrop just looks a little bit better on the skin in my humble opinion. So I prefer that one over this one. There's nothing wrong with this. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to use it. It's just not as much of a favorite as the Fenty one is. Okay, let's go Gucci Beauty. I really love these new Gucci Beauty lipsticks. These are slim shiny sheer lipsticks. I don't exactly remember the name. It's got a really weird name. This one is in Lynette Stone 113 and I also have 307 Louise Orange. Beautiful like muted. This goes on like a bit of a bricky orange. They're like I said a little bit sheer on the lips. Beautiful formula but they smell like this typical lipstick and I know I, I think that Gucci meant meant to have that and I like them but the more that I use other lip products I'm like I don't know I have other sheer lipsticks that have a similar result on the lip but not as good packaging though I'm gonna be honest with you and that's I, I mean I'm gonna use these I'm gonna use this the packaging is gorgeous it's just that that old school lipstick scent and like taste I'm a little bit over that. I kind of wish they didn't have that, but I, 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 I honestly understand why they do. Because it's Gucci. I understand why they do. I just wish they didn't. <laughs> I just wish they didn't. I'm going to mention the Juvia's Blush uh, Duos here. I have been using both. This is number one that is a bit more darker and poppy. And this is number two, a little lighter and more muted. Meant for deeper skin tones and more lighter skin tones. I use both of them, but this one's very, very pigmented. So I have to go in lightly, obviously. I think these would have uh, ranked higher if they were shimmery. I almost exclusively use shimmery blushes. If you love matte blushes, you're probably going to love these. They are very, very pigmented, smooth, blendable, and they last on the skin. I just, this is a personal preference. Personal preference, I like a shimmery blush. It just is what it is. I, I'm going to rank the Lethal Cosmetics, um, what was this collection called? Rights Collection, I think? I don't have the name of this one. Mm, I don't remember, but I will link it down below. I do have a video where I'm using this one. It's a get ready with me. I like this. But I don't love it. And I think the main reason is that I just, if I had picked, this one would not be here or this one would not be here. These two together, they don't go together. And I kind of wish that one of these were just something else. And again, I like the Lethal Cosmetics formula, even though it's not my absolute favorite formula. I think it's easy and blendable and it's easy to work with, but it's not the most buildable formula that I know. And I just, it's not an inspiring color scheme for me, although I will say that these two shimmers are incredible. I did do a look when I just used these two and I've been playing around with it a little bit. It's just not my favorite color scheme. It out of these shades, I probably would just buy the two shimmery ones here as singles. It's just not a color scheme that pulls me in now that I've have it, had it in front of me and like used it a bit more. Next one is going to be the Sigma Ambience palette. This probably would have ranked so much lower if not for the incredible quality. The quality is incredible, but this isn't my color scheme. But I have really enjoyed the quality of this palette. But as you can see, it's not my color scheme. Quality A+. Color scheme, not really for me, but I can't deny 
that it's a good palette. You know that I'm such a big fan of the Alien Cosmetics eyeshadow formula. This is their all matte palette that they did in collaboration with Capricorn. I love their shimmers and I really like their mattes. I have not, no problems working with this, but it's just an all matte rainbow palette. It's a little bit different though. I, I do think that I probably would have a lot of fun playing with this and I have been more into matte, all matte looks, so maybe... Maybe I should give this palette, because I did play a bit with this just when I got it, just to have my thoughts in, because I knew I had a lot of things coming into my life. But now that I look at it, I've been so into, I'm even wearing an all matte look today, I've been so into all matte looks, I'm like, huh, maybe I should play with this again. I do like this one though, I really do, and I have a cold with Alien Cosmetics, and we're gonna talk about some more Alien Cosmetics in a bit, but, hmm. I really do like it. Okay, let's go into the Kaleidos Lip Clays. I still have them in this packaging because the packaging is just so beautiful. This is a very... I think it's a little bit silicone based, but not in a bad way. It's a very matte, super comfortable... It's just a comfortable, super matte formula for the lips and it can be worn sheer or it can be worn opaque depending on what you want. This is the one that has the uh, neutral shades. I hope they come back with this in the future as a permanent item because I know that right now these are part of the um, the limited edi edition collection Flower Punk. But I really hope that they will keep this formula for the future because I think that this formula is so Beautiful. It's just a beautiful formula. Personally, I've been enjoying wearing these with some lip liner because I like a defined lip line. But if you like a diffused lip line, these are so easy to diffuse the lines and still make it look a little bit believable. So you will really enjoy this formula if that is something you uh, like doing. I liked the Jaclyn Hill lip liner so much more than I like the uh, liquid lip. I have mine in Butter Pecan. Beautiful color, beautiful color. It's like a beige. It's beige. It's a, it's a, it's not orange. It has a little bit of a dusty peach undertone. It is such a pretty color. It's a little bit, you can see it's almost like this color. Oh my lord, my foundation is so much more pink than my skin tone today. What did I do? I'm seeing it now. Okay, don't look at that. Don't look at that. I don't know what I did, but I like this formula. It is creamy without being too creamy. It's one of those that you sharpen yourself, which is something that I like. Sometimes when you have these pencils that you sharpen yourself, that's not in a wooden component. Sometimes they're too smeary. So it becomes hard to do the fine lines and it just won't stop your like lipstick or lip gloss from feathering out. I feel like this one dries down. It is not too creamy so it's easy to be like detailed with i think that this is a good lip liner formula that is what i think i liked it i enjoyed it if i order from jacqueline again i could totally see myself buying another color i use lip liner every time i do my makeup so i like that i and i personally liked it more uh, than i like the liquid lipsticks i really like the low light formula from alien cosmetics their highlighter formula this is their uh, colored highlighters the reason why this isn't higher up is that I, I don't reach for highlighter palettes, but maybe I should use a little bit more of this. Let's see if we can add some. I'm gonna take a little bit of Synthwave, which is the one that has the alien on it. And we can be even more glowy. This is a gold to pink. I just really like a colored highlighter. And this is a formula that's specifically formulated to not be ashy on skin tones deeper than mine and i think that that is really amazing there is like greens and there is this darker bronze and it's just really fun colors really nice formula i just wish that these were singles and i really hope in the future that alien cosmetics will come out with singles when it comes to highlighters because obviously her formula is really nice i just don't personally reach for big palettes like this and that's also the same reason why i'm gonna put the highlighter palette from sigma here listen I like this formula even a bit more because this is so smooth and so glowy and wonderful, but it is a big palette and we don't need that. Please, 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 Sigma, can we have singles, face singles? It will be amazing. I will be so happy if you can make that happen because this formula, they struck gold. I think this formula is incredible. I hope that this was not the first and last time we get to see this formula from Sigma because 
it's a, it's a, an amazing formula and if you are looking for a highlighter palette I really recommend this and if you're looking for a colored high, a highlighter palette especially if you are having problem with colored highlighters looking a bit ashy on your skin tone definitely recommend the one from Alien Cosmetics. Let's talk about the Liz McGuire palette. I got this as PR. I was not intending to buy this at all. I had no intentions. Uh, oh, the plastic is still in here. And I got it. Uh, sent to me in PR. And you know what? I like it. I really like it. I will link the video down below where I'm using this together with the other things in the collection. The other things in the collection, I like them too. But, I mean, you already know I like the blushes and the juicy, squeezy <laughs> lip glosses from Colourpop. I love those. Spoiler alert, I love them. You can watch the video. I just wanted to let you know that I think that this is the good Colourpop formula. I thought that this was a good palette. It has one pressed glitter that's over, over here. It's a nice, like, peachy clementine kind of a shade. But I thought that this was... This was fun and this actually goes pretty deep and yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a nice palette. Okay, the next palette that I want to talk about is the Emerald palette from BH Cosmetics. This is one of their birthstone palettes. I think that this is my favorite so far because it goes really deep and if you are of a fair to light medium, you might want to match this together with some other shade. You can just use your bronzer in the crease, but just something to help these uh, deeper mattes blend out a bit. But yeah, I, I enjoyed this. I thought that this was really good quality. I like this color story. It's a bit unexpected. It's grungy and it has three greens and three neutrals and this glitter. So I will leave the video down below where I'm swatching and, and doing look, uh, look with this. My, my thoughts haven't changed since that video. I think this is a really nice one. I definitely recommend it if you were eyeing the Birthstone palettes. Let's take the palette that I actually am wearing today, which is the Sendo palette. I've heard some people don't like this palette. I've heard it. I've heard people saying that they don't like this palette. I like this palette. I think it's a nice palette. I know it's not for everyone, but it's for me. I am wearing, like I said, I filmed this for Instagram and I'm wearing this brown here together with this green in the crease. So I used a powder, then a cream to powder, and then I uh, used a little bit of this seal in the outer corner to make it this like greeny khaki, I just layered. So powder, cream powder, and then I used this matte breath, the matte mint uh, on the lid. Those are the shades I'm, I've used from this palette. I don't want to say I like it. I haven't had any problems working with this. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I think it's good. I think it's good. If you don't like it, I'm very sorry. I will say though, when it comes to something that is, I mean, this is still expensive. This is still a six, what is this, like $65 palette. If you're gonna buy something like this and you're on the uh, fence about it, watch sev several reviews. Uh, I will link my video down below where I'm talking about this because my, my my opinions of this palette has not changed since that video. I still feel the exact same about it. So if you are ever on the fence about buying something expensive, watch several videos and watch people that both like it and not like it and try to really hone in on why do they like it and why don't they like it. Sometimes a reason why someone doesn't like something could be the color choices or it could be the, the way that they like to do their makeup, it could be techniques, it could be so many different things. So try to watch several reviews before buying something, especially if it's something expensive. But I'm letting you know that I think this is a nice palette. I didn't have any problems. I think it is easy to, to work with. It is blendable, it is it's pigmented, it's buildable. And I think the color choices are neutral, but with a twist and I enjoyed because I feel like this eye look I mean, it's green and khaki, but a little pop of mint. It's still a bit unexpected, but still not like super bright. So I don't know what to say. I, I, I thought it was a fun palette. The next one I'm going to talk about is the bronze uh, duo from Juvia's Place. I love this. I think this is so good and I love these tones on me. I am having the medium one, yes. This one is a warm bronzer on me and this is more of a... Not a cool tone, it's like more... I feel like none of these are cool tone. But this has a yellow undertone and this has more of a reddish neutral undertone. And this is beautiful to use with a more detailed brush to really emphasize... I use this with a bigger brush and broader strokes and I use this one with a more detailed brush just under my, my like cheekbones to make them more chiseled. 
I just think that these two tones complement each other. And I think that, first of all, this is a great formula. It is a matte formula. It has a nice packaging with a mirror if that is something that intrigues you. It comes in, I think, five different shade combos. And the, why I love this one in medium is because these are not two different shades that work for two different skin tones. Both of these look great on me. I can mix and match them. I can use one or the other depending on what look I'm going for. And that's what I love. Both of these shades I can use together at the same time because they're complementing each other. They're just giving a different look. I think this is really good. I've been using it quite a lot and yeah, definitely like it. I also really love these new Six Pen Palettes by Juvia's. I think these have some of my, especially this one, the, the Blushed Rose, one of my favorite color schemes from Juvia's Place. And you know me, I am a sucker for a red and pink color combo and this has a beautiful dark red that like excellent matte formula that I was talking about in my video about the Juvia's Place quads this red definitely has that so there are some red mattes here and then there's this beautiful orange metallic and this very high shine metallic frosty rose this color combo is beautiful this is beautiful I Love this color combo. I love the quality. I really love the quality of this one as well But as you can see the other one is a little bit more up my alley color wise But I love that you have these two pop uh, pops of color here. I do have a video where I'm using these two palettes together and the Yeah, and the bronze duo and the blush duo as well I will link that down below together with this dubious place so you can watch all of these in action beautiful palette beautiful quality I just prefer a red and pink look so that's why I prefer the other one, but they are equal in quality we are in top three. We are in top three and I am so excited. I love this palette. I love this palette. This is the Alien Cosmetics Lower Palette. And first of all, this color scheme, it inspires me. There are four mattes and five duochromes. And like, I don't... I don't know, like, oh. Uh, it is so pretty. Like, I, I, this color scheme, it just inspires me. And I just love the Alien Cosmetics shimmers. They are incredible. Really like the mattes as well. And these mattes are really nice. And I love that there is a black in here to like to use together with the mattes. It's just a wonderful color scheme. And I love that you have the, the yellow, the orange, the burgundy and the black. And you f I feel like you can go in several different directions. And then these uh, duochrome shades, this green one in the middle is so creamy. It's like creamed powder. Wonderful palette. I have used this twice on my channel and it's just, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. This month had some re and that's the reason why these Colourpop ones came at the bottom. Because they're not as inspiring and not as smart as the color scheme of the palettes that's upcoming. Those palettes have a better color scheme. Look at this. It's, I mean, of course, the Colourpop ones are more affordable, but if you're gonna buy eyeshadow, just, just buy something that's really nice. It's just a smarter color scheme. And the, the textures of these shimmers are incredible. I already know that this is going to be mentioned in the tippity top of the best palettes of uh, 2021. I already know. And I feel the same about the BH Cosmetics Say It collection. I'm just going to put all of these in spot number two because all of these are equal amazing quality. I do have a video. I'm going to show you which is my absolute favorite one if I can find it here. The Do Not Disturb is my absolute favorite one. Look at this color scheme. It is a smart, a smart and intricate but still inviting color scheme. You're not going to look at this and be like, I don't know which shades fit with each other because they have placed them in a smart way. And these are affordable. They are beautiful. The quality is top notch. These are incredible. I highly recommend these palettes. Like, I cannot recommend them enough. I was honestly shocked at how good this collection is. I do have a video where I am swatching and doing looks with all of these palettes. So if you were on the fence about these palettes, we'll link that video down below. I just think that this is a beautiful collection. And again, I am already so certain that these palettes are going to be at the top of the best palettes of 2021. And I didn't rank them here. I just put them together because in the video that I'm going to be linking down below, I am ranking them from my favorite to my least favorite. And it has nothing to do with quality. It just has to do with color selection because all of these are great quality. 
and no one's surprised I don't think anyone's surprised that I'm gonna put the Kaleidos one as number one I mean I love Kaleidos I don't think anyone's surprised the packaging is goals I don't think that they have discontinued this yet. I mean, you can see on my palette that I've used this quite a bit. I just think that this color scheme is incredible. I did put up, I do have a video where I'm doing a look with this and I also put up an Instagram tutorial, I'm pretty sure of it. I tried to at least film something more, but I have been using this quite a bit. I just think that this is, I just think that this is so pretty. There's a couple of mats, one, two, three, four, five, six mats, and then you have one, two, three shimmers they're very sparkly uh, this one is a gold to pink gold to like bright fuchsia pink duochrome this is like an iridescent like almost lilac to bright mint and then you have this very foily greeny olivey gold ah oh, such a beautiful palette I just love everything about it. I love the color scheme. I love how different it is. I love that there is this murky swampy green together with these springy almost pastels. And then you have this like grungy plum to deepen up the pastels with if you want to. Genius. Love the color story. I've never seen anything like this color story together in one palette. And I love that Kaleidos is a little bit matte heavy in their palettes because I love to work with mattes and I have been enjoying lately to do all matte looks. So I just really love this. I think their concepts are always top notch. I feel their quality is always top notch and packaging and quality wise and their shimmers and mattes are just spectacular. I mean there's a reason I chose to work with Kaleidos and it's because they are just killing it when it comes to everything. Let's be honest, everything and I cannot wait to see what they're coming out with next. Those were the rankings of last month. Sorry this was a little bit late but as you could see I had quite a few things to get through. I'm gonna try and be quicker next month but I can't make any promises but what I can say though is that I am uh, definitely shopping less this month than I was the month before so hopefully fingers crossed we're gonna pan out eventually but I mean I am a review channel after all I try all of it so you don't have to so I can help you make decisions of what to or what not to add to your makeup collection if you've tried anything that's like a new found holy grail or something that's been a total bust let me know in the comments I would love to hear what you have been trying this month and thank you so much HelloFresh for sponsoring this video I am beyond grateful because like you know I love HelloFresh and I use it well four times a week for some time now. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again tomorrow for a new video. Bye!